Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's Andover High School taking on Lincoln Sudbury Regional High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Whether you prefer email, texting, or a live person, Safety Insurance is available to help you file a claim and pay your bill. Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Learn more at safetyinsurance.com. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. I feel it. When our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up stands strong and does not stay silent. When times get tough, good speaks up. Join us for good. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Now, last week's match uh, between Belmont High School and Lexington High School went right down to the wire. Belmont finally defeating Lexington and moving on to the quarterfinals. In today's match, it's Andover taking on Lincoln Sudbury. And on the Andover team, we have Narain. Hi, Narain. How are you? I'm good. All right. Good luck today. Uh, Liam, how are you? Doing well. Uh, Mahathi, welcome to High School Quiz Show. How are you feeling today? I am feeling good. All right. And Karan, how about you? You ready for this game? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. So those are the players for Andover. The alternates are Ryan and Will and the coach, Alan Habino. And competing for Lincoln Sudbury, we have Jack. Jack, how you doing up there? I'm doing good. I'm still waiting on that snack. I don't think I'm going to get it. <laughs> no snacks yet. All right. They'll get there. You know what? I'm going to send them over. Listen we'll for the door. It's going to ring any minute. Uh, Henry, how you doing up there? I'm doing great. How are you? All right. This is going to be a fun round. Hi, Gray. How are you now? I'm good. And uh, Spencer, how you feeling? I'm good. All right. Spencer is good. And also the uh, alternate, Ken and coach Desiree Butter. <laughs> now, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, head-to-head, category, and lightning round. Uh, throughout the game, a green light signals a correct answer, a red light, an incorrect answer, and a gray light indicates that no answer has been provided. We start with the toss-up round. All players are active and, with a correct answer, can contribute 10 points per question to their team score. Uh, there are no point deductions for wrong answers, so teams, if you're ready, good luck. With Bad Guy, who became the first person born in the 21st century to have a number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100. Was it Dua Lipa, Ariana Grande, or Billie Eilish? Billie Eilish. What is the southernmost capital city of mainland Europe? Is it Athens, Rome, or Tirana? Athens is the answer. In 2021, what feel-good series starring Jason Sudeikis earned 20 Emmy nominations, the most ever for a debut season comedy? Was it Dave, Schmigadoon, or Ted Lasso? Ted Lasso. Seven Emmys, by the way. Uh, creator of some of the most authentic characters in children's literature, including Henry Huggins and Ramona Quimby, what author passed away in 2021 at the age of 104? Was it Jane Birdsall, Judy Bloom, or Beverly Cleary? <laughs> Beverly Cleary. Take a look at your screens. Uh, often cited as the most powerful woman of the Byzantine Empire, what wife of Emperor Justinian, seen here, was one of the first rulers to champion the rights of women? Drusilla, Theodora, or Agrippina the Younger? Theodora is the answer. Uh, the first U.S. census in 1790 turned up only 3.9 million Americans. Uh, the result was dismissed as an undercount by George Washington. And what Secretary of State? Was it Thomas Jefferson, Alexander Hamilton, or Henry Knox? Thomas Jefferson. In 2018, with the screening of Black Panther, what country lifted its 35-year ban on cinemas? Was it North Korea, Saudi Arabia, or Cuba? 
Saudi Arabia. What intense meteor shower occurs every summer and tends to peak around August 12th with up to 100 meteors blazing overhead every hour. The Perseids, the Geminids, or the Leonids? The Perseids. In 2020, what tech company led by Jack Dorsey removed the racially charged words master, slave, and blacklist from its code? Was it Twitter, Google, or Instagram? Twitter. And take a look at your screens. Here comes the next question. Hi. I'm Mark Brown, the creator of the Arthur books and TV series. Okay, here's my question. In the Arthur episode, Castles in the Sky, what noted architect who built the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, Spain, helps Arthur and his friends design a new treehouse? Is it Philip Johnson, Frank Gehry, or I am Pei? Frank Gehry is the answer. In July 2021, what five-time Olympic women's basketball gold medalist served as a U.S. flag bearer for the opening ceremonies at the Tokyo Olympics? Was it Teresa Edwards, Lisa Leslie, or Sue Bird? Sue Bird is the answer. Our understanding of humor, including irony and wordplay, is controlled by which part of the brain known as the emotional control center? Is it frontal lobe? parietal lobe or temporal lobe frontal lobe and with her dynamic turn as anita maria's confidant in the 1960 film west side story who became the first latina uh, to win an academy award cheetah rivera carmen miranda or rita moreno rita moreno uh, what term refers to the evening meal eaten by muslims after sunset during ramadan the holy month of fasting. Is it Suhor, Iftar, or Karim? Iftar is the answer. Around 300 BC, what Greek mathematician released his treatise on geometry? Is it Archimedes, Euclid, or Pythagoras? Euclid. A 2013 novel titled Habisham tells the backstory of an eccentric character from what Charles Dickens' novel. Is it Great Expectations, A Tale of Two Cities, or David Copperfield? Great Expectations. Texas does not share a border with which of the following U.S. states, Mississippi, Oklahoma, or Louisiana? Mississippi. British ethnologist Jane Goodall is known for her long-term study of chimpanzees in Gombe Stream National Park in what East African country? Is it Kenya, Tanzania, or Uganda? Tanzania. Which of the following is closest in meaning to mendicant? Is it lying, biting, or begging? Begging is the answer. When France restored its monarchy after the fall of Napoleon in 1814, what European royal house returned to power? Was it Burgundy, Anjou, or Bourbon? Bourbon is the correct answer there. And that's the bell ending the toss-up round. The score right now, Andover High School, 490 points. Lincoln Sudbury, 440 points. So let's hear it for both teams. A close one. Okay, so the head-to-head -head round is next. But first, we like to take a few minutes to get to know the players a little bit more. We do that by way of a question, which I have in my hand. And each of you will have a chance to answer. Uh, we'll start with Andover and you, Noreen. And the question is... If aliens touched down on Earth and asked you to take them to your leader, where would you take them and why? Well, I would take them to Mr. Habino's house because he has been the coach of Quiz Bowl for a long time, so I think that qualifies him as a leader. All righty. How about you, Liam? I would take them probably to the leader of the UN because they're probably the best person on Earth at cooperating. Okay. And Mahathi, how about you? I would show them my phone because it di dictates a lot of what I do in life. <laughs> Good one. And Karan? Uh, I'd send them to Narain because um, he keeps hinting at being really good at chair kung fu. It's kind of niche, but I think he'd have them covered. So you'll throw it to Narain. All right. Now to Lincoln Sudbury. Jack, how about you? Uh, 
I would bring them to our former leader, Andreas, because uh, he made all this possible. Okay. And Henry, you? Uh, I've got to give him, bring him Jack. You know, no one better qualified for the position. Just easy. <laughs> okay. Gray, and you? Um, I would also bring them to Jack. Yeah. Um, because Andreas made him the leader. Okay. And Spencer, let me guess. Uh, also Jack, yeah. because he's very wise. <laughs> All right, teams, here's the deal. It's time to go head to head. So let's get right to it. In this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total. Incorrect answers now result in a 10 point deduction. If an answer is not provided, there's no impact on the score. So, teams, if you're ready, good luck. And here we go. As a symbol of friendship in 1912, what city made a beautiful gift of 3,000 cherry trees to Washington, D.C.? Was it Paris or Tokyo? <laughs> Tokyo. Who was Hillary Clinton's running mate in 2016? Tim Scott or Tim Kaine? Tim Kaine. In 2021, the Major League Baseball team, the Cleveland Indians, changed its name to what? Cleveland Guardians or Cleveland Buckeyes? Cleveland Guardians. Uh, dengue fever is transmitted by what insect? A tick or a mosquito? A mosquito. Daisy Buchanan is a character from what classic American novel? Is it The Sun Also Rises or The Great Gatsby? The Great Gatsby. What Canadian singer-songwriter is best known for her hit song, Call Me Maybe? Alanis Morissette or Carly Rae Jepsen? Harley Ray Jepsen. Uh, what Roman goddess of the hunt is often depicted with a bow and arrow, Diana or Juno? Diana. And who made history in 2021 as the first African-American U.S. senator to represent Georgia? Was it John Ossoff or Raphael Warnock? Raphael Warnock is the answer there. And that's the end of the round, taking a look at the score. Andover High School has 520 points. Lincoln Sudbury right now, 490 points. This is a very close match. Great job, team. Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. Follow the leader. It's always sunny here. B season. Et tu, Brute? If I had a hammer and do the math. Uh, teams will be able to select two five-question categories and have the option to toss one question per category to the other team. And yes, teams are able to confer. And uh, Andover, who's your spokesperson going to be? Liam. Liam is the spokesperson. How about Lincoln Sudbury? Who will it be? Jack will be the leader. So uh, Lincoln Sudbury, tiny bit of ground to make up. It's very close, but you get to choose the first category. So what's it going to be? All right, guys, which poison are we going to pick today? Well, if, if I Had a Hammer was about folk songs, then it would be good. However, it might also be about tools, which... Yeah, I'm going with a super poison about into. Latin. I feel like if Paul if follow the leader... If it's like let's time, do that. Time it's yeah, let's do that. All right, uh, we're going to do follow the leader. Follow the leader. Here we go. These are questions about world leaders and for 10 points. In May 2021, what French president publicly acknowledged his country's role in the 1994 Rwandan genocide? Emmanuel Macron. Yeah. yeah. Uh, final answer, Emmanuel Macron. And that's a correct answer now for 15 points after nearly 16 years in office. Who stepped down as Germany's chancellor in 2021? Final answer, Merkel. Angela Merkel. Merkel, yeah, Merkel. Final answer, Jack? Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel is correct for 20 points in June 2021. Leaders from around the European Union criticized what autocratic Hungarian prime minister for his country's anti-LGBTQ laws? Uh, it's Viktor Orban. Yep. Final answer, Viktor Orban. And that is a correct answer. Now for 25 points. In June 2021, who was sworn in as Israel's new prime minister, ending Benjamin Netanyahu's 12-year grip on power? Oh, 
Okay, this is confusing because I keep changing it. So Benny Gantz is the defense minister. Um, Spencer, you have any ideas? Oh, Naftali Bennett. Uh, final answer, Naftali Bennett. And Naftali Bennett is correct, Jack, for 30 points in October 2021, who was elected Japan's new prime minister after former prime minister Yoshihide Suga lost public support over his handling of COVID-19 and the Tokyo Olympics. Is this our last question for this uh, category? Yeah, the, yeah, it's our last question. Yes, it is. Uh, we're going to toss this to Andover. All right. Andover, do you have an answer on this one? Um, this one's Kishida. I'm sorry, Narain, the answer? Um, Kishida. Yes, Kishida is the answer. And now we move to Andover. You get to choose a category. What's it going to be? Uh, probably do, do the math. The math yeah. Do the math. Yeah. Right. Narain, what's it going to be? Do the math. Do the math. Okay. Uh, questions about math. Uh, for 10 points, a trapezoid is commonly defined as a quadrilateral with how many pairs of parallel sides? Just one pair, one. yeah. Final answer, Noreen? One pair. One is correct. For 15 points, a reflex angle is defined as an angle of more than how many degrees? Uh, 180. 180. 180. 180. Yeah. Final answer? 180. 180 is correct. For 20 points, a group of 280 students is going on a field trip. By school bus, how many buses are needed if each bus holds 50 students? Uh, six buses, right? Yeah, six. Six is correct. For 25 points, you roll a pair of six-sided dice in lowest terms. What is the probability of rolling doubles? One in six. Uh, it's wouldn't it be one in 36? I know it's double. Six times that. Yeah, one in six, because it's six ways you can get a double. Uh, um, Noreen, final answer? One in six. One in six is correct. For 30 points, what is the limit of one over X as X approaches infinity? Zero. <laughs> Just zero. Final answer? Zero. Zero is correct. We go back to Lincoln Sudbury. You'll need to pick a category. Um, maybe a two brute. Yeah, a two brute. Let's try. Okay, it. wait. Oh. Is anyone taking Latin in this? Do you think it's Latin, Latin or like, Latin. do you think oh, it's probably Roman? Stuff. Roman. It could be Roman stuff. All right. yeah. We're doing a two brute. It's Latin. I told you guys. <laughs> Final selection, Jack. A right, two brute. Okay, here we go. Uh, questions about Latin phrases for ten oh, points. What I say. Widely invoked in the 2020 House impeachment inquiry into President Trump's dealings with Ukraine, what three-word Latin phrase meaning this for that is associated with bribery or extortion? Quid pro quo final yeah, answer. Yeah. And that is correct. And for 15 points, what two-word Latin phrase meaning to a sickening degree or to the point of nausea describes a topic that's been discussed excessively? Mm. Agnostic, or like add, add to wait. Maybe we should pass if we don't. Uh, can, were we allowed to pass in this round? Yeah. You want to pass or talk? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna pass. Okay. Answer is ad nauseum. And now for twenty points, a two-word Latin phrase meaning "I await a guardian." What powerful protection spell in the Harry Potter books is also known as the Patronus charm? I think it's expectium patronus. Expectium patronus. Wait, what did you say, Gray? I think it's expectium patronus. I believe that's correct. Expectium patronus, final answer. No, it's expecto patronum is the correct answer. Now for 25 points. What 2019 science fiction film starring Brad Pitt means to the stars in Latin? Ad Astra. Final answer, Ad Astra. Ad Astra is correct. Now for 30 points. What two-word Latin phrase is used in English to mean time flies? Um, anyone very clear? Time. Need an answer. Uh, anyone have any ideas? Uh, we're going to pass on it. Okay, answer is Tempest Fugit. Okay, we go back to Andover. To be clear, who's the spokesperson, Andover? It's Liam, right? I am. Okay. Yep. 
Uh, pick a category, please. Uh, what do you guys think B season is even about? <laughs> I mean, I think it's things that start with B or either <laughs> questions about bees, one or the other. Yeah, I mean, what do you guys think? I I don't know at all. That looks Not to be the best three, or that looks to be the best out of those three. But I don't yeah, mind sure. which one we choose. All right, all right we'll choose B season. B season, Liam. Yep. Okay. Here we go. All answers begin with the letter B. And oh. for 10 points, in 1960, Israeli agents captured Nazi war criminal Adolf Eichmann in what capital city of Argentina? Uh, Buenos, Buenos Aires. Aires. Buenos Aires, final answer. Buenos Aires is correct for 15 points. Atomic number five refers to what element that has the highest melting point of the metalloids? Uh, uh, I know all of them. Um, if anyone knows is it, the number. Is it boron? beryllium or boron? Uh, I think it's boron. No, it's Boron is five. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's because it's also number five. I'm <laughs> yeah. Boron, final, final answer. Boron. Uh, boron is correct. For 20 points, so what island in the Southwest Pacific is politically divided among three countries, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei? Uh, Borneo, final answer. Borneo is correct. For 25 points, invented in 2008 to serve as the public transaction ledger of Bitcoin. Uh, what decentralized system of technology allows digital information to be securely distributed but not modified? Blockchain. Is it blockchain? Yeah. Uh, blockchain, final answer. And blockchain is correct. Now for 30 points, named after the Scottish scientist who studied it in 1827, what term describes the jittery random motion of particles suspended in a fluid or gas? Do you think it's burning? Um, Brownian. Uh, Brownian. Brownian, final answer. Brownian is the correct answer. And that ends the category. Round the score right now. And over high school, 750 points. Lincoln Sudbury right now. 575 points. Let's hear it from both teams. Okay, so we're heading now into the final round of Play the Lightning Round. All players are active, and with each response can add or subtract 20 points to their team's total. A decision not to answer does not impact the score. Uh, there are 10 questions in all, so teams... Good luck, and here we go. Angel Falls, the highest waterfall in the world, is located in what country, Venezuela or Zambia? Venezuela is the answer. The length of a TED Talk is limited to how many minutes, 9 or 18? 18. One actor claims he performs 90% of the stunts in a John Wick film. Is it Tom Cruise or Keanu Reeves? Keanu Reeves. What type of honeybee is female but does not reproduce, worker or drone? Worker. Reader, I married him is one of the most famous lines in English literature. It's from what novel, Jane Eyre or Pride and Prejudice? Jane Eyre. In 2020, who released a remastered edition of his seminal 1970 album, T for the Tillerman? Was it Cat Stevens or Van Morrison? Cat Stevens, who was the first Mormon to run for U.S. President, Joseph Smith or George Romney? Joseph Smith. What is the standard international unit of electric charge? Is it the Coulomb or the Amp? The Coulomb. With four titles, which country has won the FIFA Women's World Cup the most times, USA or Brazil? USA. Who wrote two tales set along the Hudson River? Rip Van Winkle and the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Was it Mark Twain or Washington Irving? Washington Irving is the answer there. And that's the end of the round. The winning team this week is Andover High School with 1,070 points. Lincoln Sudbury this week finishes with 600 points. 35 points. So congratulations to both teams for a great round. So Andover High School now moves on to the quarterfinals to play Belmont High School. Next week's match will have British International School of Boston taking on 
Canton High School. Now, until then, don't forget, you can play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show. And we'll see you all next week. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Cyber attacks aren't going away. You can talk to an independent agent about cyber coverage from Safety Insurance. It covers data restoration, data recreation, system restoration, and more. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms, even the cyber kind. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. When our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up stands strong and does not stay silent. When times get tough, good speaks up. Join us for good. This is what it's like.